<laughs> you know how happy I'd be if Bob Kelly was here when the physicist was here. Uh, <laughs> dude! <laughs> dude, you know! <laughs> Uh, the string theory, dude. <laughs> now, did the wormhole, can you go back in time, dude? <laughs> because Dane Cook said you can. <laughs> Damn Dane. <laughs> Damn him. Charlton as Bobby is the greatest. <laughs> is Bobby Heston. <laughs> Look, I'm fat and stupid. I had more sense with Alzheimer's than Bobby does without it. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, Lord, dude, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken my people? Lord, dude, <laughs> let my people go. Damn you. I broke my chariot, man. <laughs> Hold my reins. Hold my reins, man. <laughs> I have a foot thing on my foot. I heard it in the chariot race. Dude! We have to take a break, unfortunately. Uh, Dr. Kaku is waiting in the green room. Dr. Kaku. He joined me on that flight to Planet of the Apes, I believe. He did, huh? Didn't he? Wasn't he there? I don't know. Dude! Yes, that was my last words to Mrs. Heston. Dude! <laughs> you know, if you go through a wormhole, you come out the other side, it could be the past or the future. You never know, dude. Oh, I'm feeling nauseous. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Yes, Jimmy. Dude, if I went through it, would they have to call it a pig hole? <laughs> From my cold, dead career. <laughs> Let's say hi to you. Uh, uh, say hi to Bob Kelly, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Bobo. Um. Bobo. Is Bob Kelly on the line? Is Bobby. There Robert Kelly. On the phone. On the blower. Uh, Bob. Bob Kelly. Dude. Bob. Dude. Bob. Dude. Bob. Dude. Bob. Don't nope. be so schmarmy. <laughs> He's being schmarmy. No, I don't know. I think we lost him. All right. So that's uh, the grease man coming back I have back a feeling radio. he'll be calling back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> I hope the connection was perfect, and the reason you lost him is because the fucking car slammed into an abutment. <laughs> <laughs> and right now his fucking phone and arm are attached, but not to the rest of his body. Uh, his hand is holding that phone in the fucking ditch somewhere, <laughs> while the rest of his body was propelled to the fucking windshield. <laughs> I got no phone around, dude. You know what, dude? They make a lot of things for left-handed people. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and his phone's holding a copy of his... His arm's holding a copy of his CD. Yeah, tucked under his fat arm is a fucking copy of his CD that he was going to try to give out to the radio station. Well, but they just left it on the table. As we wait for Bob Kelly to call back, good news for Colin Quinn. We got more Scorch yeah. for you. <laughs> hey, yeah. Scorch. Uh, young Sam back in uh, studio, uh, working hard today. Young Sam, what do we got? Well, this, I went into my personal archives <laughs> and found some classic Scorch from Syracuse. Ooh, Syracuse. Was this when he was doing the Kingdom of Nakedness? This was the Naked Militia oh, era. Naked Militia. Basically, uh, Paulie finally, his sidekick, started voicing his concerns about the fact that Scorch insisted on doing top fives every single day. Um... <laughs> To which Scorch decided the best thing to do would be to do an on-air bit where he would challenge Pauly, and Pauly would have to come up with a top five list, and then Scorch would come up with a top five list, and then we'd see whose is better. So ah. I thought I'd bring him in, and then we could see whose is better. Wow, wow this is this good. This is unbelievable. With, uh, we can participate in this then. Yeah. Good. So my top list that I do, you're always, yeah, that's not funny. Yet. And I think they're funny. The other day you did Things You Hear at a Car Wash. That That's sounds right. sexual, and I've never heard one of those things at a car wash. Go ahead, but now you've and, I, and you didn't like the ones I did about uh, things you'd hear at a, a cook say. Yeah, let's hear one. those again. No, you go with yours first. Here's the top because mine's list. not funny either. Go ahead. Top five things that a baseball announcer may say <laughs> that could be construed as sexual. All right, you ready for this? Number five, 
He smacked it into the gap. That's good. Go ahead. All right. Number four. <laughs> Scorch is like, I know, is like hey, I know it's a competition, but I'll be fair. That's good. That's good. <laughs> now, see, the bit here would be to make believe it's good when the whole world knows it's not. It just but stinks. Scorch really thinks this stuff is good. It is. Man, in the gap. Whoa, that's, yeah, good. That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. I wish I thought of that. That was him saying. That's good. Go ahead. All right. Oh, number shit. four. The pitcher steps off the mound and eyes the rubber. Good. That's All right. That's funny. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Scorch is so digging this. Paulie wrote it, and it's like, this is not funny, Scorch. See, Paulie's no, acknowledging good. that. This is, Paulie's <laughs> doing his impression of Scorch. Like, right. Look, this is not funny. Like, yes. Paulie's not trying to be funny. No. But he's a, he's tr he's trying to find stuff that might be funny if it was Scorch writing it. Right. Okay. So Scorch, the Scorch, this is just the <laughs> best <laughs> shit he's ever heard. Yes. That's the Scorch equivalent of touche. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. That is hilarious. How Number can you say that's three. not funny? He just got to first base. That's really easy. Go ahead. All right. Number two, the shortstop went deep in the hole. Yeah. And number one, <laughs> this guy hits balls deep. See, I think good for you. That's funny. Good for you. What do you think is not funny about that? Everything. <laughs> he was so frustrated. He couldn't believe that. That's his funny. Come on. Illustrated. <laughs> oh my god. And then, funny stuff. And then Scorch was forced to do his own top five. Yeah, one of his classic top fives. This was top five things you wouldn't want to hear a chef saying at a restaurant. Ah, oh, uh, you wouldn't. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Now the ones I did. Top five things you wouldn't want to hear a cook say when they're making your food. Okay. Here okay. We here we go. Number five. I know it's stale. Oh, what the hell? We'll just tell them it's toasted. Ooh. <laughs> Number four. You got all the dust off of that, didn't you? Oh, Number true, three. True. The sink is clogged. Just wash them in the toilet. Oh. He can't be serious. He's right, though. Those, wow. He's right. Those are not things you want to hear. <laughs> Zingers. <laughs> I don't, the baseball one was fucking Way better. gold <laughs> compared gold to this shit. <laughs> How about the top five things you don't want to hear if you're a waitress? Uh, number five. Yes, those black customers are yours. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Did anybody see you do that? Nah, then just throw it back in the plate and serve it. Whoa. And the number one thing that you, you wouldn't want to hear a cook say when they're making your food I want to hear number is, one. hey, it's warm and salty and yellow. They'll never know the difference. Oh. Hey, that's that funny. That's oh that is pretty funny. They're oh, yeah. so long, like they don't fit <laughs> like the formula. Yeah, like his five weren't like they were like real things that <laughs> yeah. in the kitchen would say. Hey, that fell on the floor. Pick it up, brush it off, <laughs> put it on a plate. Maybe we can wash it. If not, we'll get a new one, fry it up, and give them a new one. But if they don't notice, then it's uh, cool. Exactly. It was like real stuff. <laughs> yeah. The other guy's like, oh, two balls yours deep. was good too, though. I'm not going to say yours wasn't good. Now, if you had done yours at a different time, other than trying to prove a point, and in essence, the point you're trying to prove was really a bad point because yours was fun. Yeah, but I don't think. And they're not stupid. That was not stupid. Yeah, they, That's something that the, a right, listener though. of our show would find that funny. <laughs> oh my god! What's, <laughs> broadcasting to the, the retarded. Right, yeah, we all had a joke. <laughs> fucker. Uh, Step off the mound. Yeah. <laughs> Scorch is a classic. That guy's got two balls on him. That's a yeah. classic. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Well. Hey, but you might want to put those fries underneath the light to keep them warm <laughs> while uh, the appetizers are finishing. <laughs> Something you don't want to hear. Cook say when he's cooking your food. <laughs> hey, uh... Well, I got a clip of hangnail. It's, uh, it's hurting me when I, uh, take this, this off the griddle. Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Not fucking funny. Damn, yeah. the price of beef's high. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to turn a profit? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Bob Kelly. Thank you, young Hey, there, hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> first of all, this not, uh, first of all, Jimmy, th this is what I don't like about Jimmy. What, he, he, he's from Jersey. You're a little mushy, four-eyed ass from Jersey. Ooh. You're oh, not, you watch right. the History Channel a couple times, and you know about black holes. That's true. And then you get an English accent and a slow draw. You know, <laughs> what <laughs> happens sometimes the universe... What's and a slow draw, the stars, stupid? Like the galaxy is giving you your information as you're speaking. Hey, what's a slow Shut draw? I'm not fucking having a duel. What's a slow draw? Do you mean a slow draw <laughs> with yeah, an L? Draw is this. Ready? This is what you do at the end of your sentences because you're you're thinking really hard. Uh, when the black hole, um, sometimes 
it, uh, you know, uh, the universe gets together and a uh, star actually implodes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a well-spoken man. I think you're things not out. well-spoken. You're a mutant that thanks trannies. So what's that got to do with the universe? <laughs> Big deal. You're supposed to go. Jimmy and George yeah. black holes. I don't the like way it works. When, now, when you know you... what, dude? I mean, they say there's no God, dude. Oh. But who knows what, you know? You I don't can't... know what happens, dude. <laughs> These smarmy assholes. Smarmy. Always, you know like, dude. You talk with a slow draw. No hell. A slow draw. We're gonna shoot each other. <laughs> you, turn in, you turn into bre breakfast at Tiffany's every time you want to get intelligent. Why do you have to go like with it. food, stupid? <laughs> of course. <laughs> you turn into the Breakfast Club, dude. Uh, you turn really into fried green tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, stupid. You're not you turn into you're Free Willy. Oh, wait, not, that's me. You're not, you're not a scholar, Norton. I know okay? I'm not a scholar. I'm just chit-chatting with Dr. Cogno. No, no, you're not. You, talk, you start talking like you're from England, and I don't like it. And that is true, what he said about you. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it Bobby, is. Colin Quinn's in studio. It's, uh, hi, Colin. How are you? you? Colin, you know what? You know, I know Anthony's going to stick up for him. I hope he's going to stick up for him because he's huh? their sidekick. But <laughs> oh, dear. I call him sidekick earlier, side too. Kick. He didn't like it. Yeah, he's he, not going to like that he, one there, Bobby. When he gets intelligent, he gets really slow and methodical with his thoughts, and I want to smash him in the face with something. Instead of just blurting shit out? And yeah. sounding like an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, but he's, he's got a point that Norton does t tend to like do an impression of an intelligent person when he talks <laughs> to right. intelligent people. Thank you, you know? for making that. Thank you for making that funny, Colin. I appreciate Man, that. Sh shut up. This is where I nailed Dummy on the other night. We were having our political discussion. <laughs> uh, he, wait, wait, before you get into this, he really, really got me. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't remember anything I said except when it started off as fucking. He's going. Because they got to do this, and now, dude, she's got the super delegates all lined up. <laughs> and I fucking stopped him like a brick wall. What's a super delegate? And you've never seen <laughs> the stupidity <laughs> personified. <laughs> he fucking, every bit of idiotic shame he had, just fucking, that little mask came off, and it was dumbbell just sitting there. <laughs> well, oh, dude, a super delegate, a delegate that puts on a cape and solves crimes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Super delicate. I'll take the soup. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> <Super> <laughs> hey, he nailed me for probably around 20 minutes, and every single one was good. And at the end of it, I went up to him and goes, I don't even know what a Super Delicate is. No one does. Yeah, exactly, but that wasn't hey, the point. Hey, uh, Bobby. I what, know what it is. Wait, good for you. You win the spelling bee. Shut uh, up. I got a <laughs> fucking nerd. Spelling bee. <laughs> Put your hand up next time, you fucking goody gum. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> Certainly not a treadmill, then. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bobby. Yes, sir. Your 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 CD, just a tip, comes out tomorrow. The CD and the DVD. And, and uh, oh, I was looking at my copy uh, yesterday, and uh, it looks like you almost forgot to thank us, huh? No, are you out of your mind? You're like we're like. The second to last thank you. Oh, God. You know what I was going to put in the thank yous? I was just going to write, I know you're looking for your name, Needy. It's not here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, funny. That would that's be That's what right. I was going to put. That would be hilarious. That's true. Yeah, we're, we're way down in the thank yous. I'm not, not is, happy is about Dane that. Is Dane first? Uh, no, it's not, not Dane first. He went with his wife. All right. Well, Dawn and his family, that's understandable. But I'm saying as far as people that are not that close. Wait, to make, make a... Obi, <laughs> make him read, make him, make Bobby read the thank you list. Make, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me read. You know what, uh, let me see. It's just a tip. I talked to all my friends about this CD ad nauseum. Who did you thank? Yeah. Who did you thank yeah. on that? Oh, dude, no. you know what? Hold on, dude. I want to no. say thank you. 
This son of a bitch wrote a blog, mm. put it into a book, and pushed it every day on the air, and he's giving me shit. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Now, now ironic, a day, blog doesn't like the blog. Day, <laughs> I compiled all my things together of things that happened to my friends and made it into a book. <laughs> That's right. My wife Dawn, thanks for all the material and loving me for the hunk of crap I really am. Uh, Kelby and Diva for eating my buggers. Mom, Larry, Kara, Andrew, Kristen, and the Donald and Weatherby clans. Hey, keep going. <laughs> Matt keep Frost, going. a.k.a. Frosty, Brian Billy, <laughs> a.k.a. Brian Billy. See, I want to put a little joke there, but also <laughs> known as, but make the same name. There, people will laugh. They'll get it. And Paradigm, the agency that sent me on one audition. <laughs> two. Shut your mouth. Two. I want two. Fair, oh, my God. The ONA reality show. Therline, Adam, Jenny, and Jody, thanks for being a part of my team. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say team. Yes, thanks for being a part of my team. My team. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you should have said, and thanks, Orca and Willie, for being a part of my species. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> oh, Alan Lefkowitz, my therapist, you've helped me become a better man. Ugh. And what? Jesus. That's well, right. You gotta really, you really gotta go for the fucking jugular. I'm Bob. I'm only reading. I'm, I'm only reading what you wrote. I'm not well, making. At least I gave thanks to the people that helped me. You didn't even give your friends a fucking copy of your book, and you put our lives in it. Oh, uh, it's true. I had to beg. I had to shame uh, him to get a copy of that book, and I wrote the fucking uh, forward. No, I'll tell you why. I had to shame uh, him. Tell you Shut why. up. You I'll tell you why. You're a selfish cocksucker. No, I was fuck. happy. I was happy to get copy of Fuck, fuck, fuck you. No. Fuck you, no. I'll tell you <laughs> why. We know why. You no. cocksucker. We know why. You motherfucker. You're a selfish <laughs> asshole. Not you at all. Shithead. I was actually embarrassed to walk up and go, here's my book, to oh, be honest. Really? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh. Don't you understand I what it was? It was self-esteem. I was He's a humble guy. Hey, Bob, Fuck off. Do you really think that this is going to divert me from finishing these fucking thank yous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep going with the thank yous. You, you, Carl, let me, let you me eventually hear. get tossed. Carl, let, me, let me just read them for a second. You, wow. you, you, you look at the other part. And, no, I just want to look under the Bobby, inside flap to see open Bobby, Bobby, very hurtful that you actually thanked other radio guys before. For us, that's yeah. Whoa! Oh, what do you think? yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Ron and Fizz. Here, well, come, look at here comes Nick DiPaolo, everyone. Hold on, I'll look at this part. There you oh, go. You shit. can look at the rest of that. He just ripped, <laughs> he just ripped it in half. Well, I'm looking at this part. You he just off. took the Bye. thank yous. All right. Uh, he really is an ass. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, NACA and all the colleges across the country, which I was no. okay to perform at, but too dumb to attend. Fucking <laughs> 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 ass. NACA. He backs NACA before his What's friends. What's NACA? I hope you fucking die in a college. college it's like a college of... Booking service yeah, yeah, yeah. or something? Oh, I, fuck, yeah. I hope you're killed in a bus bombing in Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out to be Voss just standing there doing material. <laughs> 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 fucking cunt. Dane Cook to the top. <laughs> to the top. Hey, that's what? a little thing we have. What yeah, is, what's the thing? To the top of what? Well, the thing worked for Dane. Yeah, it, it certainly did. Yeah. He went to the top of the entertainment the field and you did it with the scale. <laughs> <laughs> After this little fucking segment of fucking fine radio that I got myself into once again. Hold on. Dane Cook to the top. Thanks for putting me on the map. Because if you didn't, Google Maps would have done it. Because I stand out now when I'm in public. That's not what it says. Shut your face. That's they thought I was says. Ohio, dude. You just made Thanks that up. for putting me on the map. Oh. You, just you, you, you just made that up. Yeah. <laughs> I know I did, you literal idiot. And he put you on the map in the wrong fucking place. He should have put you in the middle of the Atlantic being photographed. <laughs> Shut your fucking face. Well, the fucking list, bite your nose, bridge. The listeners are doing their own thank yous, by the way. We'll We'll start with Matt LaFar from Queensbury, right? Dude, I'd like to thank the fat retard that used to pity fuck me as a teen, dude. <laughs> oh, you know, okay, I'll say this. Let, let me say, I, I will amend a little bit. Thanks for putting me on the map. And the second one, Colin Quinn, thank you for always being there. Always? Uh, you were always there yeah, for him? He just means existing, I guess. Colin just is there. being there. <laughs> Jim Norton, oh. Kelby misses you, dude. He's a little self-effacing because I do love Bob's dogs. I'll admit that without shame. Bob's 
pets and I, I, I adore. I thought wow. it was the chicks he used to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes on to Patrice and blah, blah, blah. Thanks to, thanks to everyone at Comedy Central who only put me on when my manager pulled a gun on him like Luca Brasi. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Kelly doesn't get that picture. <laughs> it'll, it'll make him a big star. <laughs> I'll go tell your boss. I don't get to express from guineas. <laughs> I'm Jewish. Now you get Jewish, the hell Jewish. out of here. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. What? The next one he thanks. Lionsgate Films. What? <laughs> Just stop it. What the hell, Oh, man. my God. Well, they put on some good product. What was it? What, what were the two films you are in, Bob? We lost him. Where'd he go? What, did he hang up? We're getting him back. Bruce. I don't know what happened. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Dad, to the top of the Call of Duty leaderboards, dude. He fucking... To the top. Where did he put you guys? It's way, way, This way. fucking asshole thanked his accountant before you. <laughs> right, oh. that's what I'm getting at. He, Matt Siegel at KISS 108. Uh, Thanks. KISS 108 is big. Uh, Patrick at CringeHumor.net. Thanks. Kurt and Delin Iverson. Thanks for letting him stay up late to help me with everything. I guess that's his web guy's fucking family. Uh, his web guy's Steven, family before us? Steven Leo from Sanctum Sound. Well, you know, the sound mixing is very important. The people that mix the fucking thing? They sell, oh. more, they sell more than that. Don't they uh, get a credit here? anyway? Opie and Anthony, thanks for letting me be part of your radio world. Not you. And then he put Pete Lee and Nicole... Thanks for make, taking care of me at the virus tour. Instead of thanks to Opie and Anthony for putting me on the virus tour. Yeah, yeah. Pete Lee and Nicole wouldn't have taken care of you without Opie and Anthony. Mm -hmm. Well, enjoy the last appearance of Robert Kelly on this <laughs> program if we do get him back on the phone. That's right. Just a fucking tip. That's all you're going to get in this door from now on, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fucking head of your cock. <laughs> uh. Thanks. He's not answering? Thanks, Why Bob. Why isn't he answering? I don't know what happened. He's probably in transit. He's coming home from my. Uh, I hope. I gig. hope that fucking. Mm. I hope his fucking phone <laughs> was pierced by the bullet of a, a highway sniper. <laughs> <laughs> I hope a fucking highway sniper just shot through the back of the cab and the phone went through his fucking his hand, his phone, and right into his fat cheek. And it's embedded in his cheek right now. <laughs> Girl, I can't talk because there's a bullet in my face. I shot in the cheek, man. Hold my hand. I talk like Keith the Sullivan in that movie. <laughs> I sound movie? smarmy. Keith the Sullivan got shot in. Uh, runaway, I think. What was it? No, I know what you're talking about. Well, we're trying to run away with something like that. This, this does have. Yeah. Reese Witherspoon. Yeah. I will say this about yeah. Bob's dumb CD. It does have a CD and a DVD in it. Yeah. And you can get it starting tomorrow. Yeah. So I think you should support Robert Kelly financially. I would suggest going out and purchasing this because his it's fucking over for him now. <laughs> yeah, so that's you might want to. He's got a wife and fucking house to take care of. Yeah. So try to help make this this fucking last CD he'll ever do. Well, the other jocks that he named on there, I'm sure they'll put him on as much and yeah. let him get as much freedom as he has yeah, on this program. Eric and Kathy in Chicago. <laughs> Eric and Kathy. Terry Clifford in Rochester. <laughs> Terry Clifford, someone that's just about as fat as me. Howard Stern, man cow. Yeah, dude. Now he's fucking with us because it says Bob The Kelly. Grease Man. He's fucking with us now. Yeah. Courtney and man boobs in El Paso. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney and man boobs. Good oh, luck, Chuck. Was Lionsgate's uh, film there? He thanks Lion like, like they like he was a fucking yeah the star. Yeah, well, like he's, like he's fucking Tom Hanks thanking DreamWorks. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb extra. <laughs> so they, they were being polite to Dane by putting you in. Good luck, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> fucking cunt. Well, one thing about it, you have to admit, it did bring good luck to that flick. Sure did. <laughs> the only way I could see that being accurate is if fucking Bob's shoes or floorboards were named Chuck. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I hope he's fucking scalded in the fucking brush fire. <laughs> scalded.
a good fucking Christ, a, a good one that just that's fucking good, bro. just the beginning that's of his good. face is fucking burned and scarred. <laughs> that's really like from the bridge of his bad. nose to his chin <laughs> is horribly disfigured, <laughs> and the rest of him looks normal. Oh fuck! So from the side you like him, and then as soon as he turns around, and goes ah, like, oh. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Uh, Why were we so down in the thank yous? What do you I think? don't know. What do you think, Ann? I noticed it too. Yeah, I think we were an afterthought. You yeah. absolutely. We're. I, I want. We were an afterthought. Yeah. That's what happened. If you thought of us right away, we'd have been much further up. <sighs> Can I see the track titles? You, Anthony, afterbirth. <laughs> Just a tip. I tell you. <laughs> you man on Where, where's the copy? <laughs> Colin. Yeah. Colin. Look, copy. He ripped it in half. We're all fighting no, over it. We can still it. look at the titles I, of the I, bits. I, I, no, you can't. <laughs> I know we're all fighting over <laughs> it. <laughs> all right. All right what, remember, producer for a day. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be? Pro you should be producer for the day. Though. I'm going to do that for one day. Okay. All right. What do you got, there, Jimmy? Uh, I'll give you the track names. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure they're very I feel like funny. this is Norton's last day on Earth. Why? He's just because he's like half stumbling. Like, I don't remember the track names. It's like, well, I happen to have a fucking... You're like Lenny uh, Bruce. I have a fucking <laughs> pinch neck. I know, a pinch nerve. A pinch nerve, and I was, I've was i been up uh, for 20... I have not slept. You have, but let's be correct. Oh. You have a pinch... You know what? You have no neck and a pinch nerve. <laughs> and you have six. All right. Oh. How about loaning me one? <laughs> <laughs> fucking... Quiet old hungry frog neck. <laughs> trying to fucking read track titles. <laughs> you fucking, Go right ahead. I want to lick your back and get stoned. Shut up. <laughs> 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 he got you pretty good there. Kyle. I no, certainly pretty good. did. I'm kind of being the ref here. I think you're. That was damn good. Little, you're you're a little behind right now. Oh fucking number one. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna on fire today. Number one is Vegas. Uh huh. Number two, asking girl to marry me. Aww. Number three, naked just socks, but he spells it S O X, and it wasn't done to be ironic. He no, just doesn't he realize just doesn't that C K S know. is how you spell yeah. it. And on the back, he's actually naked, holding a sign with socks. So that kind of ties into the back cover. Uh, and then the next track is "She Knows Nothing About My Penis." That's kind of a long title. Sure yeah. is. Uh, being chunky, <laughs> which I guess was written fucking eight <laughs> hand sizes ago. <laughs> and fucking. I guess morbid obesity didn't fit on the back. I don't use up by today. Oh, when it comes to smashing Bobby, oh, oh, oh. Is Jimmy have it. Number number six is Nickelodeon Award. Uh, number seven is food of my drug of choice. Is my drug of choice? Oh, Trying to play no the addiction shit. fucking card. Yeah. Number eight is... I, uh, today is 18 years, oh. four months and six years. <laughs> I tell you, I want to fucking shove Vicodin down his Jew throat. The fuck, boss? The way he tries to be dramatic. I have to tell you people something. I joke around a lot on stage, but today is 19 years, four months and six days. But this is the way he says it. This is why he should be fucking... He should be fucking brain with a fucking a block of hash. Because he says, uh, It's been 21 years, nine months and two days without a drink or a drug in my body. <laughs> yeah, how long's it been since there's been fucking spittle on your shirt? You fucking he talks like Roger Ebert, you fucking mouth cancer shithead. <laughs> Got a fucking oh, drool shit. bag. Oh. And everybody and the sad part is everybody is compelled to applaud. Oh, the applaud the phony fucking applause. No one gives are. a shit. Do you think I give a flying fuck no. oh. about any accomplishment the comic makes on stage aside from making me fucking laugh? Yeah, that is so pompous and self-centered. But people to fall think for it. That yeah. that anything that comic says, I don't have a relationship with the fucking asshole up there. Well, but be fair. Do you want him to rely on his humor? <laughs> 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 he's, trying to, he's trying to make a living. <laughs> I guess, uh, now, nineteen years. Opie, I want Norton to wear that damn outfit. <laughs> that would be a good one. The Hillary outfit. I want to wear a Hillary outfit every day next week. That would. She be has hilarious. a lot of outfits. Look, can you imagine him in that outfit? That oh, you really buy him. Adorable. I will pay for them. You buy them, I'll wear them. Really? Of course. All right. Yeah. Why yeah, wouldn't you got I? Money, Colin. Jesus now, what, is that it there, Jimmy? No, no, this is just a tip. Oh, Bob course. Kelly's new CD slash DVD. Bob's, uh, no, track number 10. Right. Uh, track number uh, 8 is Fat Snake. <laughs> um, track number 9 is Restaurants. You see the theme here? Yeah, the <laughs> big theme to run through <laughs> this whole. <laughs> 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 it's just, uh, just a tip. That was the question. He, that was the answer to what part of you fits through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I'm sick of you, Bob. <laughs> fucking uh, number ten, I like fat chicks. 
<laughs> Which he doesn't. This chick is hot. She's not fat. She has a great body. He doesn't like fat chicks. No. That was called what I would want people to say if I was a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Number 11. Living with girl. Number 12. Dude with sword. As opposed to, how did you get that injury, Bob? Which would be, dude with harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> Number 13, punching butter. Which was the answer to the, when someone said to the boxer who fought Bob, what did it feel like? <laughs> <laughs> A little wordy, but you got there. I sure did. You got there, uh, bro. Uh, <laughs> Number 14, no romance. And number 15, just the tip. Just Perfect. the tip. There's a documentary with this that I think uh, I know Colin's in. Yes, I'm I am. in. And uh, I don't know who else is in it, but it's a DVD documentary as well as a CD. Well, good thing we're not in there. No. Why no. would you be? Why? Why would you be? Why would you be? Why? Why would like, you be? We could end it up on the editing floor, but at least give us a shot, you yeah. fucking asshole. Nothing. I actually do like the cover. The only annoying part of the cover is when he's at a comedy cellar with fucking the guy that works at the cellar going over computer graphics and fucking I'm trying to feign interest in what font he uses. <laughs> he's like, damn, should I use the sparkly ones? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, you fucking fat girl. Who cares? <laughs> Asshole, put a fucking little unicorn thing on the tip of Robert. <laughs> Looks like it's flying through a cloud. <laughs> but, you know, you're a fun one to talk. Hey, I'm sitting there Saturday night. We're all sitting at the table. This phony breaks out his computer mm -hmm. and starts typing his second great uh, epic novel. That's right. You know, we're all sitting there. It's kind of weird. And it's like, it's not only pompous and pretentious, but it's really rude. You no, know, it's little not there and he's got a little laptop. You're all sitting around the table. And he's right? got like a solemn look on his face. Like, mm -hmm. yes, he's I'm like, here to work. I'm here to Oh, like, yeah, elbow guys, grease. go across the street to a coffee shop, you little cocksucker. <laughs> I know. I, know. So I get work done at the cellar because Shh. I can't cruise sexual shit. I can't cruise sexual. I'm going to just watch Nobody's you eat buffalo wings. Nobody's interested in your process. <laughs> All he does is sit there and eat fucking a double order of buffalo wings, and I just want to <laughs> hug him because he's committing suicide in front of me. How would you feel if you just sat a, if, if you love somebody and all they did was fuck every time they went to the cellar, they put a shotgun in their mouth and pulled the trigger. That's what you're doing. I can't watch it. I have to write. I have to write away my sadness. <laughs> Colin makes you sad, Jimmy? Of course he does. Yeah. Why? I'm just watching my fucking friend. Every bite is, I'm, I hate myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we might have Bob Kelly. I don't know. Uh, Bob? Hey. I'm what? I, I uh, heard you reading my track list. My phone died. Yeah, yeah. It, it killed itself. <laughs> yeah. Just the tip. It comes out tomorrow, Bob. Yeah, well, I'm sorry my track list aren't yuck. <laughs> and then a facial expression, you moron. <laughs> That's not bad. Bob, um, and I are, uh, are hurt a little bit. The thank you is fine. way down in the list, and we weren't offered maybe to do something for the DVD. We know I the mean, thank you was an afterthought, and first of all. I asked you to do it. I asked you to do it. You never did it. Oh. You, you didn't want to do it, and I called you both last week to do something else, and neither one of them would call me back. Or, <laughs> oh. Wait, what did you ask? What did you ask me to do last week? When you guys, you first, Opie, I called you. You were out of the country, but Anthony was one town over. Wouldn't answer his phone or call me back. Hi, where was I? When, 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 when was this? I don't know. Why don't you check your flight schedules? Well, first of all, I went on vacation at this point three weeks ago. Yeah, I asked you both to do something, and when we filmed it, I asked you guys to do something. Oh, during vacation? I wasn't fucking around. Little Jimmy and, and Paul and actually could do it. I would oh, so you got guys. pissed so, off, so you knock us down the thank you list? No, the thank yous know. were an afterthought. He did his thank yous, and he went, holy shit, O and A, where do I put him? Now, that's not true. You got the and. Yeah, why, uh, why is Matt Siegel higher than us? Why, why is that hack Matt Siegel higher than us in your thank yous? Uh, I'm... I, I, uh, I blew him once, and I had to put him on there. See, Fuck here it. he goes. And, and by the way, he thanks Harvey Altman and Rob Urio. Thanks for taking care of my dollar sign. You thank your accountant before Opie and Anthony. Oh, Bobby. Oh. I gave you guys the and. I swear to God, I am not thanking anybody next time. I'm just writing, yeah, you know. <laughs> Duh. Thanks, everybody. And thanks to the guy that came over and painted the apartment. <laughs> and uh, the guy that did the carpeting. Good job. And thanks to Fred from, uh, from the linoleum hut for giving <laughs> me some money off. And finally, last but not least, dude. Yeah. What did you thank, Norton? A whole shitload of people. What 
hope you do right on the back of your thank you. <laughs> I fucking th I thank people in the first CD, the second CD, and I thanked them in the book. You should have just put a coattail on your thank yous. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you saying? That oh, I ride coattails? Oh, oh my I God, won't God, argue. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, that hurts. I wouldn't put thank yous on anything, like to tell you the truth. It cheapens like it. Colin came in on fire. You and now the old man's getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> His blood sugar's low. He really, he, he really did almost punch himself out. <laughs> fucking jerk. Oh <laughs> By the fourth round, he's fucking hugging. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to smash Norton. He goes, yeah, you're, uh, he's kind of right. Really? Why don't you up, Paco? Uh, I got him a couple of times since then. I'm sorry. I'm on, uh, you know. Colin, you're good for about two and a half hours at this point. But you're in training. You get back up to the five-hour radio show. I really I really will. I really will. <laughs> I'm going to give the limo guy his phone back. He's letting me use his phone. Oh, limo. Where are you off to, Bobby? I'm, I'm coming back from West Palm. That's pretty cool that you have a limo. Why, why would they give you a limo? What? Well, I, because the flatbed is in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was a hearse. Oh, is Bob still on the phone? I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait Jimmy, wait, wait. I had some last thing for you. Jimmy? Oh, Bobby, you there? Oh, Bobby, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby! Oh God! No. Colin, if you let him do that, <laughs> you know what he's doing right Bobby. now, Bob? Dude, what? he's pissing he's, on your CD. <laughs> he's pissing. <laughs> he's got his cock out. He's pissing on your CD. In the, of the studio, <laughs> he's pissing in the garbage can. It's kind of disgusting. First they're hey, scraping hey, their feet, hey, now they're pissing. Hey Jim. Yes, sir. Thanks for helping me sell CDs, buddy. I did actually. <laughs> yeah, we we're not saying that it's not a funny CD, Bobby. Yeah, we're not knocking. The, we're, we're not trashing the actual material. Well, you know, we know you're a funny guy. We're not saying the material. You're just not a good you, friend. You're just pissing on my CD in a barrel. Absolutely, it's you, and it's it's kind of. If you were here, we'd be happy to do it to you. But no, I I, I will say this: that the uh, hold on before you give the fucking phone back to the fucking the fucking scumbag limo driver. I will say. That you do well, have a CD driver here. scumbag. Well, because he is. He's, he's fucking driving this fucking idiot. So he had a big celebrity. <laughs> yeah, the fucking, yeah the fucking middle from Boston. Yeah, can we call? Uh, can we uh, talk to the limo driver? Hold on. Um, you got actually the CD. I do. I, I do want to encourage people to yes, buy it because yes. it feels good to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't forget, folks. Come with its own DVD. There you go. You can watch that. Comes with a documentary. He broke it like the Dixie Chicks. Comes That's out tomorrow. Bad, 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 Wave to Bobby's limo if you see it. It's the one doing a wheelie. That was a good one. Does anyone have a broom so we can sweep up Bob Kelly's latest project? Yeah, that's good. That's good. I hope you fucking sell. I hope you sell four copies. I hope fucking Dane puts out a CD tomorrow. It's called, it's called Just the Head, and they get confused and buy his. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, stupid. All right, Bob Kelly. Stupid. <laughs> All right, stupid. Uh, I hope that fucking limo driver, the whole time he was on the phone, was fucking was doing belts of liquor up in the front. <laughs> and right now he's seeing two of everything. And thinks he's headed for the airport, but it's really a dump truck. <laughs> he's, in a, he's in a Paris tunnel. When he looked at Bob, he thought he was seeing two. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest part, if this fucking, if this limo driver had a head-on collision with, like, a tractor trailer, is the fact that, like, Bob wouldn't go right through the windshield because it's a limo. He'd have to think about it being shot through the limo to the front. He'd have a couple of seconds to realize <laughs> I'm being fucking killed like a fat cannonball. <laughs> like a torpedo. <laughs> like a big fucking a monstrous torpedo. <laughs> like if someone learned how to fucking shoot a sea animal out of a cannon. <laughs> A fuck, a, like a giant seal being fucking shot. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jimmy, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, can you smash that guy? Well, fuck. Bob uh, Kelly, everyone. He's going to be in tomorrow. we got to take a break. Call just a tip. Yeah. We have maybe one more thing to do before we do line of the day. Can I say this? I, I honestly do want to see Bob's CD become successful. Uh, of course. Because uh -oh. I want him to be built up high because there's nothing after this. <laughs> so I would love him to like really start feeling good about himself and then just completely crash and burn. Yeah. That's my goal. you got to get to a level where you're a little up there yeah, to, to really feel the burn of the crash. Yeah. yeah. So called Dane. Hey, hey, look, his Bobby's Naka show. <laughs> 52 arrested Dane. near Michigan State University. You know how it is. The guys like us, Dane, uh, we're selling CDs, yeah. DVDs.
Yeah, he's always trying. He's always trying to like fucking get like some kind of catch. For, like he was actually selling Robert Kelly Live dot com fucking bumper stickers. Who wants that fucking garbage on their car? I don't even want that on my computer. <laughs> Robert <laughs> Kelly Live. Robert Kelly Dead. I'd be happy to put on my car. <laughs> and then fucking make lamp oil out of him. Once again, I know I have no energy and I shouldn't be going into an attack since you're hot today. But no better than the shit you've been shilling for years. Oh, <laughs> oh fucking shit. Age t-shirts or whatever the fuck that corny hey, shit is. I make no fucking bones about it. Slip it up. I'm not days. done, you hack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the name of those hack t-shirts. Hey, you put one of your expressions on a shirt if anyone can understand them. <laughs> it would look like when they write profanity in a comic book. Fucking two pound signs and a dash. Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you I knew I should be messing around. <laughs> but I couldn't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> you walked right into that one, Kyle. Oh, oh shit! I couldn't stop. Fucking Jimmy, no one's touching. Unstoppable. I knew he was no. on fire today, but I just had to. No one's oh, touching oh. Jimmy today. You gotta just sit back. Oh, oh, wait, listen to the sweeping up of the Bob Kelly project. Here we go. Uh, Can we put a mic down there? Oh yeah, let's <laughs> mic sweeping. Listen. This is great. Listen. Fun. Listen. What a great show. <laughs> <laughs> He's sweeping up the remains exactly. whenever, of Bob Kelly's whenever, project. Whenever Bobby talks about like being in a limo, I always have a picture of like just outside of Lexington, Kentucky, one of those trailers. There's like a horse doll. <laughs> <laughs> and his head <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, All right, we got to take a break. Uh, <laughs> For replay purposes, we got to take okay. a break. So why don't we do that? Colin Quinn in studio today. Are you promoting anything, Colin? You've been here for Well, actually, hours. I do, but I am, uh, I am at Caroline's on uh, last week of April, whatever, the 26th, 27th, whatever. And working with me is Keith Robinson. I don't Ooh. know if you know him, so it's going to be a hot one. You with like Keith? Perpetual opener. Man, I'll, be at, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll be at fucking... Mouth. He didn't say you, he asked me. I know that, but I'm so jumping in. shut up. I'm, I'm fucking Bobby backing this. He, he, I'll be fucking... Uh, I'm, I'm he in piggy pack. Uh, <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> Bobby <laughs> I'm in it's, like, it's like Munson. <laughs> I'm in Detroit this Saturday, <laughs> fucking at Clutch Cargo somewhere in Detroit. You're in Detroit with the? Is he going with? You? Is he on yeah, the I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm gonna be seeing Jimmy in Detroit. Yeah. Is that part of your tour? At? Uh, no, no, no. I don't I have jungle this. fever. I'm Bobby back in it. Are you gonna have tour T-shirts made in? Yeah. What the hell yeah, is Clutch be Cargo's? <laughs> Anthony's the place? No, tour. it's a fucking rock club. That's what I work. <laughs> Anthony's tour. My, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, we got to take a break, and uh, I think we're just going to wrap up next. <laughs> so far. Although, although we have a fine little story uh, about parents and what they do when they uh, find out they have a Down syndrome kid. Parents oh, wow. just don't understand. Hang, <laughs> well, yeah. well oh, we might do this or a we big steel-toed boot. <laughs> Either one will do the trick. They ask the parents, hey, your mother? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's a party she's animal. jump in this conversation, but my mom's right. I should have oh. been a hairdresser. Why, Bob? Mm, You're why? doing great in your career. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a movie with Ricky Gervais. Yes, if you the new Ghost Town movie, Bob. You're in that? Well, no. Let's let's, <laughs> let's phrase uh, that carefully. Yeah. In the same way, a tree or a car is in it. Yeah. Bob, is, <laughs> Bob is kind of behind. He plays one of the bodies behind Ricky Gervais the whole time. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, congratulations. It, but there's yeah. a thing as small roles. Only small actors. Shakespeare. Well, it's not quite a small actor, but <laughs> yeah. You're getting smaller. You're getting smaller. I'll I'll. <laughs> I'll give you that. I hate the fact that Bobby's losing weight. This guy, oh, you should have seen him. He was a disgusting, fat motherfucker. Yeah, really. That was just a a obese. He minute. fell into the category of obese. Wait, He'd wait come in, and when he left, we'd just be like, how fucking fat is Bobby getting? What? And, <laughs> you never told me this shit. <laughs> yeah. You made a couple of fat jokes. They were cute. The, the, yeah. The, the, obese. I yeah. never made a fat joke about you. None of them were jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They, they were sad observations. <laughs> <laughs> but now he's he's losing a lot of weight yeah. and tons, <laughs> and uh, he looks good, and it's ruining our whole fucking thing with him. You're taught you're fucking dieting yourself off the show, is what you're doing. <laughs> you're not going to be able to come on. We'll be like, oh, Bobby Kelly's here. What are we talking about? Nothing. Nothing. At least you could breathe. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. It's not. Well, you know what? You know what inspired he is because when he was on Lucky Louie, you were a heavy boy. Yeah, yeah I put yeah, a lot of weight on Craft services. I was. When tell me about it. Phenomenal. You just eat fattening food. When he, when I saw his, you start. He started losing weight, but he had his HBO special, and one of the photos they, t you know, they come and take photos. 
he was laughing at one point, oh. and his neck was back, and he had five Next layers five of his layers neck. Of skin. But they were oh. five different colors. Like, it went from purple to black. It's like some yellow. exotic bird. It, it looked like, it looked like <laughs> a heavier pelican. Movie. It I was like, heavier, but I wasn't as bad as he did. The, the photo that this was... Uh, <laughs> no, it was bad. It looked like... You ever have roast beef and it goes <laughs> bad in a rainbow? <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it was that bad. <laughs> it was it bad. He was the color of bad can roast we, beef. Wait, can we get that picture? It was an uh, HBO uh, half hour uh, shot in, in 2005 or six. Looks like someone should be throwing a fish on his nose. <laughs> 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 all right, so it's not flattery. It's not a good photo. Good now. Thank you. I look all right now. Oh. I look better now. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's how you know I was bad. I really was a chubby fucking lucky Lily. I see some of that footage. I'm like, oh, you fucking dancing. Okay. Yeah, there was, that could be a cringe moment there. Yeah, there's somewhere on God's Green Earth, there was footage of me in hammer pants and a belly shirt. <laughs> hammer pants and a belly shirt? Yeah. Oh, wait, what's, a be what's a belly shirt? It's a little half shirt, right? <laughs> yeah, it's well, every shirt well, you wear. Girls call them tit tops, <laughs> <laughs> but I can't go here, so it was Enjoy a belly them. shirt for me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, just remember, I got a belly shirt on somewhere. And, and hammer and, pants. And hammer pants. It, it don't get no worse than that. But I had hammer pants on. On too in my first head shot because I started comedy in 1990. Oh, should I have a hammer over your head? I <laughs> believe me. And it would bounce right off. Well, a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the claw end fucking buried in my coffee table. I, uh, there's a photo of me with hammer pants. I used to wear those workout pants. I didn't wear the yeah. belly shirt, but I thought no. that was like a really cool hip look. Wow. Yeah, yeah, remember that? Was, I mean, it was. It hammer. was. You know something? It was hammer time. For a time, it was for like 10 minutes. I actually bought a pair. There's a at, window. At Pier 1 Imports. <laughs> Oof. I bought. They weren't real hammer pants. They no, were they like, were sales for a ship. <laughs> <laughs> you, I wish. I, you know what? I really wish I was fat again right now. I know. You're on fire today. I can't. These are just oh great. Just annoys me. Dude, you can't do that. But I got liquid in my mouth. <laughs> Fucking uh, hilarious. Uh, because as soon as you say that, we're all thinking of a right, fabric pig. <laughs> fabric pig. <laughs> <laughs> smart asses. Wow, that was, was a, a goddamn God. smart ass. That was a good one. Gem. I had to leave it alone. That was my worst TV moment. My worst, worst TV moment ever. I couldn't. I was. I was fucking. Mine was torgasm. <laughs> 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 I love you, Bobby. I love you know you. I do. I, it was a good one. It just hit me right out of the blue. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's all right. I it was it. fucking. It, I, I, com I just sat there with my mouth open. Fucking. Again. In shock. <laughs> Anthony's on sorry. fire. He really is. is. I got to shut up. I'm sorry. But so we're giving up. him. I'm giving him the biggest setups. <laughs> and so I said, point to an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Uh,